Hello everyone, it's me, Robert, back for another video, yes. Uh, and today I will be answering some questions. Yes, I was nominated by Ben Wasp Shot. Thanks very much, Ben, thank you. Um, to do one of these Q&A videos that everyone seems to be doing recently. So uh, I posted on the uh, Transformers Facebook page and people have come back with quite a lot of questions to uh, answer. So yes, I'm going to hopefully answer all of them in this video. Now, obviously, you could have asked me anything you wanted as long as it weren't about Transformers, which has led to some quite interesting questions, shall I say. So uh, let's get on with it and hopefully I'll be answered, able to answer these the best I can. Uh, and also, sorry for the glare behind, but I have to be down here because it's easier with the laptop and carting it all the way upstairs to answer these questions and I will be looking this way quite a lot. Anyway, uh, the first question is from Ian Pyatt. Thank you, Ian, for this question. It's, it's a good one. And he asks, what is your favourite class of Federation Starship? Hmm. For me, I, I think it has to be the Nebula class. Now, it's quite a, a obscure ship, uh, and it's a science vessel mainly, but I like it because it still has quite a punch to it. It's still got quite a few armaments, and the design is unique. Quite a few Federation starships are quite elongated in their design. You have the saucer section, you then have the secondary hull, and you have the warp nacelles, whereas for a Nebula class, it's all sort of packed together into one tight, little, neat sort of bundle. And I like that about it. Uh, and plus, in first contact, it went up against the ball cube and kicked ass. So I, I can't argue with that. Um, so yes, Nebula class. What's yours, Ian? What's your favourite starship? If you, if you get around to doing one of these, I'm going to ask you that. Uh, the second question is from Ben. Ha! Ah, the one who nominated me to do this. Thank you. Thank you. That. He, he asked me uh, three questions actually. First one is cheese and onion or salt and vinegar? Salt and vinegar. I, I absolutely love vinegar. Anytime I have fish and chips, I have to have tons of vinegar on it um, because I love the stuff. I can't get enough of it. Um, and cheese and onion's alright, but mm, how do you feel about Manston Airport? Now, if you don't know what Manston Airport is, basically me and Ben, we live quite close to each other and uh, our local airport is called Manston and it was recently closed down they're planning to basically demolish it all and put housing over there but there's a protest going against it to try and get it back as a proper working airport. Uh, I, I absolutely agree with the protest, I think it should be an airport again because not only would it bring in quite a lot of income and revenue to this area which frankly it needs, um, it would also relieve quite a lot of the stresses of Heathrow and Gatwick. Uh, and all you need to do is increase the infrastructure of the roads around Manston. And to be honest, that's not much because quite a few of the roads around Manston are good anyway. So I really don't understand why they're closing it down. Um, it, it has had bad things in the past where certain companies have come in and they haven't really run it properly. And so it's led to poor profit. But if you get a good solid company in there, I don't know, BA... Virgin, someone like that, who can run it properly, then it would actually be a benefit to the local area. But hey, I very much doubt these protests are going to stop it from closing. They're probably just going to knock it down and demolish it anyway. Uh, and he asked me, the final question is, is time travel viable? Yes, it's viable. Do I think that there will be time travel in our decade? No. I mean, it, it, it's viable, but not for this decade. Give it a couple of more decades, maybe even a century. Give technology enough time to actually advance and get up to speed. And yeah, I reckon it would be viable. I, I reckon you could make quite a lot of businesses out of time traveling. Uh, however, the problem with time travel is you could only, once when the first time machine is invented, you can only go back to that point. You can't go back further than when the first time machine is invented, which is why quite a few people uh, like, um, which sort of ruins the idea that, well, if time travel's possible, why haven't we seen anything? Well, that's because time travel hasn't been invented yet. You can, it's physics. I'm not very good at physics. I don't, I, uh, let's just leave it at that. But yeah, you, you basically can't travel back further in history at the point of when the first time tra time machine was invented. So yes, it's viable, 
but it's probably not going to be happening anytime soon. Certainly not in our lifetimes, or maybe our children's or your children's children's lifetimes. Um, but yeah, it would be viable. There's quite a few business opportunities that you can make from it. So yeah, thanks Ben and thanks Ian for those questions. Next we have Sammy, who asks, since watching Babylon 5, what are your top three favourite episodes of the series? This was a hard one. When I first saw this question, I was like, ooh, that's hard, because I haven't really finished watching the series. I've got four episodes of Crusade left, the final episode of the series, and The Lost Tales. So, this, these top three are based on up until now. Uh, I, who knows, I could really love the last episode of Babylon 5, and that may change. But up until now, these are the top three episodes that I like. Uh, and this is in no particular order. Comes the Inquisitor, um, War Without End, and The Deconstruction of Falling Stars. For me, those three episodes just stood out as being really well written, really well produced, and just so good for the series. Um, I think if I had to choose a favourite out of all three of them, it would be Comes the Inquisitor, because it's, I really do like that episode. There's a lot of good things that happen in it. And yeah, the ending's a bit cliche and a bit corny, but I, I, I don't mind. I like it. Um, so thanks, Sammy, for that question. Uh, next we have Brad, who asks, Do you think cats have their own ranking system similar to a commercial kitchen environment? Possibly, yeah. Why not? You know, we have... Why, why, why not? Um, yeah. I... I, why not? Let them have their ranking system. Why not? Um, thanks, Brad, for that. Uh, next, we have Bill Ledson. Now, before I start answering Bill's questions, Bill was one of the people who asked the most questions. There's like 10 questions from him. There's quite a lot. So, in advance, thank you, Bill, for these questions. Thank you. Um, and the first question he asked me is, what is your favourite Weird Al Yankovic song and your favourite video of his too? Favourite song? <sighs> mm. Probably Amish Paradise, just because it's it's hilarious. It, it really is. And yeah, it's taking the piss out of Amishes, but hey, you know. Um, and favourite video? Mmm, mm, that's difficult. Um, I, I really... There's so many good videos that he's done, especially recently with his new album of Mandatory Fun. It's, hmm. Hmm. Uh, the Saga Begins, I think it's called. The, the, the Star Wars one he did. Because um, that video is quite funny. It, it really is. Palpatine playing a piano. You don't see that normally. Um, so yeah, there we are. Um, he ne then asks, who is your favourite G.I. Joe character? Now, I'm still getting into G.I. Joe and um, thanks to him and a couple of other people I've got into it recently and I've watched all of Renegades um, I've watched a couple of other series uh, my favourite character G.I. Joe character it's obviously going to be it's, it's not going to be a Joe because they're good guys and I love villains um, uh, probably Cobra Commander from Renegades because I, I really like the character in that um, or from Resolute because he's quite awesome in that as well uh, but if, if you're if you're asking for actual a uh, Joe then mm, I don't know Duke I know that's probably quite a, the obvious answer but I haven't seen much and from Renegades he was quite an interesting character so yeah probably him um, he then goes on to ask, what's the best and worst sci-fi series which you have watched? Right, let's start off with the worst, shall we? Um, I, I, there's two series I could pick from, um, but I'm going to say Farscape, because I hate Farscape. I think it's terribly made, it's just poor quality of writing, and I just can't stand Farscape. Um, the best? Now this is, this is difficult, because... I like quite a few good sci-fis. <sighs> sci-fi, best sci-fi series. Not including Transformers. Or Star Trek, because if I say Star Trek, it's kind of a cop-out because there are quite a few series. 
I'd say the, the new um, Battlestar Galactica, because that is a very good series, a sci-fi series. Uh, and I recommend anyone who's into their sci-fi to watch it. it it's, it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, there we are. Uh, we then have uh, somebody else asking. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Christopher Perry, hello, asks, Would you rather live in an igloo or in a South American sweatshop? An igloo, because I like the cold more than heat. I like winter more than summer. I absolutely love winter and the sort of dramatic weather that we get, or don't get in our case. Um, and I can't stand the heat, to be honest. I, I, not the heat here, I can stand different types of heat. A dry heat I'm fine with, but a humid heat, ugh, no, I can't. I, can't, I just, I, I shut down and sort of go into a ugh mode. Um, so yeah, an igloo, because it's lovely and cold. And besides, I, I, who wants to work in a sweatshop? No thanks, I'd rather live in an igloo. And, um, yeah. Uh, he, he then asks, Do you have a fear of reptiles? No. Not at all. <laughs> um, no. No. I like reptiles, they're quite cool. Um, I don't have any pets, but I suppose if I was to have a pet, it would be a reptile, I suppose. Um, but no, I, I don't really have a fear of any creatures, to be honest. I mean, I've held a tarantula in my hand. I've had a python around my neck. I haven't got a fear really. I'm not afraid of insects or anything. So, no, animals are just animals to me. I don't really see how someone could be afraid of them. But hey. Um, and then his final question is and this is the one that made me laugh. This really did. Um, do you want children one day? No, not at all. Not ever. Uh, never, ever, ever. Um, that's because of who I am, it's because I'm an ace. Uh, and if you know what that is, then good on you! you you're quite well educated. Um, if not, then go and look it up. But no, I have no desire whatsoever to have children. Um, because I'm an ace. Um, and because I, I just, no. I, I, I don't really like children as well. I, I find young children very, very annoying. The screaming, the, the crying, the the, the, the complaining, the ugh, geez, ugh, no, no, they're all right. I, from fifteen onwards, they're okay. But to be honest, I I'd rather talk to some to a, a much more mature person than a five year old because they're just really annoying in my opinion. So yeah, I, I hope that answers your question. Uh, back to Bill, who has another set of these questions. My word, Bill, you're really just wow. I mean, just... he asks, what do you know about GoBots? Not a lot. I've never seen the series. I know what GoBots is. It was the thing that came before Transformers. And uh, well, let's just say it didn't do as well as Transformers. Uh, the series was renowned for not having any of its characters actually having characters. They were just, I'm evil, I'm good, let's fight. Um, but no, I, I do want to get around to watching it one day, because, um, you know, it, it's it's kind of a predecessor to Transformers. Um, yeah, and I like how you phrase that, because it's not a Transformers question, but it's still about bots, so... Mm. But no, yeah, I, I don't know much about it, but I want to, in due course. Uh, he then asks, what is the best book you have read? Hmm. Best book I've read. Hard one because there are quite a few books that I've read. I, I really, really don't know. Um, probably it's a Star Trek novel, and I know that's a bit of a cop out, it's not really a proper novel, but um, it's called Romulan Prize. Very good, very good book. Basically, it covers it's kind of like an alternative to the last episode of Next Generation's first season, when they first meet the Romulans. Instead, in this one, they don't actually meet the Romulans face to face, they actually come across the new Warbird, and it's sort of drifting in space with the crew as dead. And uh, they're like, well, we've never seen this before, and they start to investigate, and it turns out to be more than there is. Uh, and then it goes off from there, but it's, it's a good read. Um, but I, I'd say that's up there as a favourite. I wouldn't say there's a particular favourite that I've ever read 
because there are quite a few books that I like. So, mm, I hope that answers the question, kind of. Um, he then asks, are you looking forward to Destiny video game coming out in September, especially as it's by the makers of Halo? Hell yes! Hell yes! Um, when Destiny was first announced, I was all over it. I absolutely love the look of Destiny, especially what we've seen of E3 and then Gamescom and... Yeah, it just looks fantastic. Um, will I be getting it September is another question. Probably not, because, yeah, I, I want to play it on Xbox One, not on 360. And I'll probably get an Xbox One Christmas or after Christmas. So, yeah, I, I really do want to get it, but I doubt I'll be playing it very soon. But no, it looks really good. And as you said, it's by Bungie, the creators of Halo. And you can tell that there's quite a few influences from Halo onto it. Um, so I look forward to the game, and it should be good. Um, he then asks, what's your favourite Burt Reynolds movie? Um, probably Smokey and the Bandits, because that's the only film I've seen with him in. Um, yeah, because I haven't watched many, I haven't watched many Burt Reynolds films. I, it's a crying shame, I know, but hey, you know. I don't, I, don't, don't, I don't even know why I haven't seen Um So yeah, probably Smoking the Bandits. It's a funny film, but as I said, it's the only one I've ever seen him in. Um, then he asks another question. What's the best 80s cartoon series you've discovered to date? Do you, do you really need me to answer that one? I mean, it's obviously Transformers, um, followed by G.I. Joe, because it's really good. Um, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of any other 80s cartoon series. No, it's, it's just Transformers, really. I mean, uh, it's quite a simple question. And a simple answer, so Transformers. Um, we then have more questions from Christopher Perry. Hello again. Uh, he. Oh no, wait, I've missed out on Bill 1. <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately, I, damn, I nearly missed this one out. Um, he asks, when are big boobs too big? Anytime because they're just a tool for sexual activity, which I'm completely against. That's my answer to that. Um, Chris, then, back to Christopher Perry's questions, which is, ale or lager? Uh, neither. I'm a spirit man myself. I've only recently gotten to drinking, but I really can't stand the taste of either ale or lager. Um, yeah, I much prefer a spirit. Um, but although, I'm, I'm, I suppose if there's one I like, I might try it, but uh, no, spirit all the way. Um, he then asks, Max, Lunix, or Windows? Uh, because I've been using Windows for the past several years, and never tried out the other two, I'd have to say Windows, because it's just been reliable. I haven't had many problems with Windows whatsoever. Um, currently, I'm using Vista on this laptop, and it's there, no problem at all, really. I mean, the laptop's getting old, uh, which is why certain problems occur, but it's nothing to do with the actual Windows operating system. It's it's fine, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, he then asks, iPhone or Android? See, I can't really answer this question because I don't own an iPhone or an Android. Shock and horror, I know. I'm a teenager. Look, <gasps> I don't own an iPhone. Oh my word, the world's coming to an end. <gasps> no, but um, my phone is old, it's a flip thing. You may have seen it if you were at AA. Um, I don't know. I suppose iPhone, because I've heard better things about iPhones and Androids. Um, tea or coffee is his next question. Tea. I'm English. I drink tea. I'm not American. I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. Uh, and scones and whatnot. <laughs> Uh, we then have, ah, Phil, Roundtrap25, then ask a question. Hi, Phil. Um, he asks, Hotshot or Cyburn? Again, it's a Transformers question, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll answer this one because you're a good friend. Um, that's hard because I like R.I.D. and I like Amada, but... Cyburn is, let's face it, a stalker, um, and Hotshot is just an annoying kid. So, choosing between the two is quite hard. I'd say Hotshot because by the time you get around to Cybertron, his character is actually quite well written and he actually does some interesting stuff in Cybertron. 
Um, but in Armada, he's just quite annoying. Uh, whereas Cyburn just never really stops being a stalker, all the way up until the end of R.I.D. So, hot shot. And thanks for the question, mate. Uh, Bill then asks another question. Uh, fish and chips, or fish, chips and peas? Fish and chips, I hate peas. I can't stand peas at all, really. I eat them because I must, but I do. Oh, I can't. And mushy peas is even worse. I cannot stand mushy peas. They're just disgusting things. Uh, so, I hope that answers your question. Back to Christopher Perry, who asks, Boys, girls, or girly boys with toys? Neither, because I'm an ace, as I said before. Um, and, yeah, if you know what that means, then you'll get that. If not, then look it up. Uh, next we have Bill Barkley. Hello, sir. By the way, great, great name. If only your first name was Reginald, then I could have made a Star Trek reference, but hey. Um, he goes, what did you think of Peter Capaldi as the Doctor? I, well, I mean, if you haven't seen my last video, go and watch it. I review a, a short little review of the first episode. But basically, uh, I love Peter Capaldi as the new Doctor. I think he works really well. I think he uh, suits the role perfectly. He's a great actor. And he brings much more maturity back to the show, which has been lacking for the past couple of years. So yeah, I really like him as a doctor. Um, he then also asks, what do, you think of, and then, what do you think of what you have seen so far of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film? Um, I don't like it at all. But then again, I don't like turtles. I think the whole concept of Ninja Turtles is ridiculous. Uh, and I know that's going to annoy quite a few people who's watching this, but yeah, I, I've never grown up with them. I just think they're ridiculous. Um, they're stupid, to be honest. And there's, I've, there's seen the, like, the trailer for the new film several times now, and I'm just, no, it's just ridiculous. As much as they look okay in CGI, it's directed by, it's got Michael Bay in it, it's Megan Fox in it, it's just about turtles who are ninjas concept that doesn't work well with my brain uh, so I hope that answers the question so yes next question is from Luke Hollywood hello Luke hi Luke who asks why are you so evil well I was built that way I was just born that way what can I say um, it's just something that I am I'm just evil um, we then have a, a new question from um, TF Nolsey John hey hey mate uh, who asks what is your favorite movie this is, a, this is a very difficult one, because there are a lot of movies that I like. Um, I don't know. Favourite movie is hard. To, uh, I don't know. Probably, if I had to choose one, Back to the Future, because I love those films so much. And um, the first one, because it's, it's just a classic. Um, and I, I really, really do like it. Uh, so thanks for the question. So, Bill then asks, Is it true that the elevator on the Star Trek Enterprise travels at about 39-ish miles per hour? Uh, probably, yes. I'm, I'm, I, I call myself a Trekkie, but I'm not that, that um, into... Well, not into, but that knowledgeable about the actual inner workings of the starship. Uh, but yes, I would say that's probably roughly-ish, 39-ish, because, let's face it, if you're talking about the original Enterprise, the original series Enterprise, certain scenes in Turbolift takes forever, despite they're only going down one deck. Uh, yeah, if you're talking about Enterprise, it takes them nearly instantly. Um, NX Enterprise. Uh, so it, it, it depends, depending on what Enterprise you're talking about. But yeah, I'd say that's roughly about right. Um, Luke then asks another question. Which would you rather, a long walk on the beach or a romantic candlelit dinner? Probably a long walk on the beach, because I like to walk. Um, I've, I've walked a lot in my life. Um, I, I used to walk all the way to school and back when I used to... Back in the back in the day, back in the day. Um, and besides, candlelit dinner, uh, romantic candlelit dinner, I've never sort of done that thing and I probably never will. I mean, it just depends. If it's an Italian, then maybe. But probably just a long walk on the beach because it's just it's better for you as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope that answers the question. Ed then asks, "Hey Ed, how are you? Good to see you back on YouTube. Uh, what would you do if your life became the movie Indecent Proposal? 
I would just go along with it. I mean, what else could you do in that situation? Making all kind of deals and having paying people to do stuff. And yeah, you can't really do anything else in that situation. Uh, Paul Groland. I hope I'm saying your second name right. Hello. Um, what does the fox say? Give me them rabbits? Um, and no, I haven't listened to the song because it's modern music. Dave Shotton then asks, Hello Dave, how are you? Um, guilty music, musical pleasure, like the worst song slash band you secretly love. Probably Coldplay and Paradise because I hate most modern music and that's modern music. So Bill then asks his final two questions, which is, can you sing the 90s Mighty Mouse theme song in a barbershop choir style? Um, possibly, yeah. I mean, if the guys at uh, Iconic Reviews are up for it, I suppose we could do that at next year's karaoke, you know? Be a bit of a fun. Uh, I've never heard the theme, but hey, you know, I, I go along with it. Uh, and his final question is, assign one of the following to each of Raz, Jim or Luke. Uh, hug, cuddle or kiss? <sighs> really, really, Bill. Um, probably hug, Raz, cuddle, Jim, I know, kiss, Luke. Uh, not that I'd actually ever do that, sorry Luke, um, but no, it, it, uh, but yeah, it's probably like that. Um, and that's the final question, so thank you everyone for um, asking the questions. I now have to nominate a couple of people, and I'm going to. Uh, I nominate Thomas Jeffroy, I hope I'm saying it, your second name right Tom, um, Jonathan Rasmussen, um, and Luke Hollywood. So you three... Get making some videos, because you haven't done anything in ages. And I want to see you make a video. Uh, so post your thing on the Facebook group, get your questions, and then do a video. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you again, everyone who asked the question. And uh, thanks for watching this, if you're still around. So yeah, until next time, when I might be back with a Doctor Who review, or possibly Creons, because I've got those to talk about. Um, I will see you all then. So bye, everyone. Enjoy your day.